Welcome to the Daily Calm. Today we'll be exploring the meaning of the word shamata. Start by finding a quiet place to sit where you won't be disturbed. Sit comfortably with a straight back and close your eyes. Let your shoulders fall away from the neck, relaxing them back and down. Relax the forehead, the face, the hands, and stomach area. Feel the entire length of your body relax. And as you become still, place your focus on the breath. And for a change, we'll practice a rhythmic counting technique that calms the mind and body. As we count, we'll keep our attention focused on the breath, making efforts to expand the breath into the whole body. Just follow my guidance as we inhale to a count of four, hold for four, and exhale for eight. We'll start with an inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now allow your breath to fall into a natural rhythm, letting it become light and easy. The breath flows in, the breath flows out. Follow each inhale and watch it turn into an exhale. And follow the exhale as it releases.
Any time your attention drifts away from the breath, gently bring it back. Focus on the rising and falling sensation of each breath. Not feeling the need to control the breath, just allowing the body to breathe naturally. Observing each rise and each fall of the breath as it flows through you. On the inhale, allow each breath to arrive. On the exhale, let it gently flow through you. Now relax your attention and take a moment to notice how you feel. When we practice following the breath as a way to calm the mind, we're practicing shamatha. There are two parts to this word, shama and ta. Shama means peaceful calm, and ta means to remain, to stay. We practice shamatha to slow down our agitated mind and gain stability. When we offer our mind a chance to calm down, we're offering ourselves a chance to observe and understand our inner workings. This is difficult to do when the mind is constantly churning and reacting. You can compare slowing down the mind and disengaging from thinking to how dirt settles in water. Once the water calms, the dirt settles and becomes less muddy so we can see what's going on. As Lao Tzu said, to a mind that is still, the whole universe surrenders. Practice shamatha any time you want to still your mind and feel calm. Now gently bring your attention back to the room. Feel your seat where it connects to the ground. And when you're ready, open your eyes. I hope you enjoyed today's Daily Calm. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you back here tomorrow.